I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you personally for all the wonderful messages of support and for your understanding whilst I've been recovering from surgery. It has been an incredibly tough couple of months for our entire family, but I've had a fantastic medical team who have taken great care of me, for which I'm so grateful. In January, I underwent major abdominal surgery in London, and at the time, it was thought that my condition was non-cancerous. The surgery was successful. However, tests after the operation found cancer had been present. My medical team therefore advised that I should undergo a course of preventative chemotherapy, and I'm now in the early stages of that treatment. This, of course, came as a huge shock, and William and I have been doing everything we can to process and manage this privately for the sake of our young family. As you can imagine, this has taken time. It has taken me time to recover from major surgery in order to start my treatment. But most importantly, it has taken us time to explain everything to George, Charlotte and Louis in a way that's appropriate for them and to reassure them that I'm going to be okay. As I've said to them, I am well and getting stronger every day by focusing on the things that will help me heal in my mind, body and spirits. Having William by my side is a great source of comfort and reassurance too, as is the love, support and kindness that has been shown by so many of you. It means so much to us both. We hope that you'll understand that as a family, we now need some time, space and privacy while I complete my treatment. My work has always brought me a deep sense of joy and I look forward to being back when I'm able. But for now, I must focus on making a full recovery. At this time, I'm also thinking of all those whose lives have been affected by cancer. For everyone facing this disease, in whatever form, please do not lose faith or hope. You are not alone. So I wanted to kind of talk to you about um, the Kate Middleton video message, uh, but from Prince Harry and Meghan uh, perspective. Um, we understand that they were blindsided by the statement. Do you think that there's a reason for that? Well, of course, there's a reason for that. It's obvious. Uh, you, uh, there's a deep rift between the brothers that we know. We also know that they haven't uh, apparently spoken in many months. And the reason, of course, is that for some four years, uh, they've caused endless problems for the royal family and so they can't be trusted i mean william hasn't trusted harry and megan and i mean with good reason um, they've we know with oprah we know with the harry and megan uh, video how uh, the harry and megan um, program for netflix and also with spare and then with the interviews surrounding spare i they, they've done a lot of damage to the royal family i mean they are one of the reasons why the royals are polling so badly among the young and yes they were the great hope and we know that that did not work out it was a disaster but there was no reason to monetize their links with the royal family. The trouble is that's the only thing that appears to have made a lot of money for them. And that raises other questions as to what they'll be doing in the future. And for far as we can see, things seem on a more constructive path now. We, we have an idea of uh, Meghan's uh, new project. The point, the point of the statement is, I didn't know whether they put out a public statement, but I knew that they'd be, be in touch immediately in some form. And I mean, the important thing is not what the public statement says, which is what it is, uh, but what has been said privately. The fact we know they've been in touch privately, you know, Harry's been in touch with William, I, uh, presumably we don't know the details, what happens privately is the pivotal thing because illness is tragically, of course, I mean, that it has to be that, but illness is the great game changer. 
And it's one thing with a rift in the family. It's quite another thing when there's a serious illness. In the case of uh, Catherine, of course, the preventative chemotherapy following the major operation from which she's recovered. I mean, it's uh, been incredibly stressful. And uh, she talked of this so movingly in that video. But the Sussexes will be under absolutely no doubt that the enormous amount of feeling towards uh, the enormous amount of support uh, and and also how moved people were. And this is uh, the response in the country at the moment, uh, so far as uh, the way that that video message from someone who was clearly vulnerable and who'd had the most terrifying, you could say, ordeal in a particular sense. I say this because for weeks, because of what's happened and because a lot of commentators didn't know and because the trolling online is so vile and is completely unpoliced and also because there's been so much general speculation, uh, it's been an impossible situation. So, I mean, not only has Catherine had to deal with the major operation and uh, the preventative chemotherapy, in itself positively daunting, but also uh, all of this, this speculation. And I mean, from the point of view, from any human point of view, I mean, that is extraordinary. So uh, what I would expect is, uh, however sincere or it is or isn't, is a matter for, for speculation. But I certainly would expect a very, very different attitude and possibly even, I mean, sometimes in, when there are crises, uh, people change and... Uh, there's no doubt at all that with illness and with serious illness, which this is, so we may well uh, see the beginnings of some sort of an end to a rift that was between two supposedly inseparable brothers. We only learnt in spare that they weren't as close as we'd previously thought, if you believe that book, uh, what was written in it. But I mean, there's no doubt it's been... Uh, this will mean certainly the, the reproaches that they make to each other privately are the things that matter. It's not what's said publicly, which in any case is, there's always a form of words for these things. Uh, whether or not, as William doesn't with good reason trust Harry and Meghan, whether or not there is some form of reconciliation that starts in the weeks or months ahead privately, that's the point.